that we need to give them the right advice for them to grow up in the best way, in the best so, as possible. But I'm no, 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 supposed to be yeah created the universe keeps the universe going does it make sense designed not a fly not an egg but the entire universe not england not america yeah, yeah. the entire planet the entire universe yeah, yeah that's right yeah. gave us a perfectly mm -hmm. preserved perfect scripture but you're not you don't have time to read it and i'm saying the creator knows the creation you're saying you know your children, you, you're smarter than your children. Sometimes you advise your children. Why don't you take God's advice through this perfect scripture? And I've given you evidence that it's perfect. Because. And you haven't challenged my knowledge. That's the freedom that I wanted to get to. Because as a children, we cannot tell them what to follow without taking in consideration their opinion that's that's the freedom that we don't have that because when we have our children we say oh you need to follow this 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 but we need to let them to have their young um experience so they can know what's good and what no that's what experience there are some things when, when there are some things you say to your child you cannot do yeah 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 no daddy I want to touch the fire. I want to experience the fire. No, maybe, maybe it's, it's Have some you? Children. No, no, they, they no, 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 no. Be realistic. That Be that realistic, sir. That... Would you let your child touch the fire? If fire buys, uh, not He to... wants to do something dangerous. He wants to get a motorcycle, drive without insurance, without any le lessons, license. No, that's what I said. We try to, to, to give them the best advice. But for Dad, some, I don't lie. He's going to come to your house. Yes. He's going to take some heroin, inject some heroin in your house. No, Dad, I, I want to learn. No, I want to experience. Well, some, but uh, I mean. Sir, don't be hypocritical. I, no, I know, don't be a no, hypocrite. But, no, I know. I, but, the uh, same rules you apply to your life. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Apply that when it comes to the concept of God. Does it make sense? At the moment, you haven't been given me any example of what freedom God takes away from you. And I, it's, not, it's not a problem because you're under pressure. I, we no, just no, met, no, it's no, not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Then I ask you another question. Give me an example of um, how, what restriction Islam, like, re Islam puts on you. Not religion, Islam. And then you were saying about, sometimes you just want to learn and experience. And then when you think about it practically, it's good, you put restriction yourself on your own children and I'm saying God knows the universe, the creation better than you and I and God, Allah wants good for us yeah because again sir from the limited conversation I've had with you I've realized that you have a understanding of Christianity I don't think you've ever read the Quran no I haven't not even the the Holy Bible not even there you go I, so didn't, you... I didn't grow up in um religious uh, environment so and, uh, but I haven't grew up in a religious environment at home but that doesn't mean that I'm doing wrong things That's now we've freedom. changed the subject no no it's okay. the same because for some, I'm not a religion person right but I know how to difference from good thing and bad thing you know and how to try to keep myself like how to say like <coughs> In peace. You, you know. wait, wait, wait. Two points. Peace and you know. Good and bad. You know. We think we know. You know. We think we know. Yeah. We try. So you're yeah, helping me too much. Yeah, we. <laughs> so you think you know or you know? We know. This is getting recorded. I want the camera to zoom into your face. <laughs> yeah? You think you know or do you know? Tell me. We know what's. what's, uh, what's we know or you know? I know. You know. Yeah, you so know. We, we know as a grow people. Okay, you know. That's people. fine. I know. You yeah, know. I know how, yeah. You know. Okay, now. In China, yeah. they eat stillborn babies. 
Is that wrong or right? Well, for me, it's wrong. Why? Because I wouldn't do that. Why? I don't like it. Why? Because that's uh, Why waste the baby? No, it's... Uh, <laughs> You, what you believe is wrong and right is your opinion. Yeah. It's changed by the society you live in. Yeah. Because this, whatever country you was born in, if you were born in the UK, the UK is telling you what's wrong and right. Yeah. UK, there are some things, so, and I know you're going to agree with me because you're of that generation, I know. 50 years ago, it was a mental illness. Now it's like, it's fine. It's your choice, freedom. 50 years ago, it was a mental illness. It was a crime. Now it's freedom. In China, that's, that's what they believe is right. So who are you to say it's wrong? I can say it's wrong. Shall I tell you why I can say it's wrong? Why? God said so. I have objective morality. My morality isn't time. It doesn't change over time. It doesn't change over location. Is legislated, is told, is is laid down by Allah, God Almighty. All right. So why so many religions? Good question. Nowhere? Good question. Civilization. If we are, I mean, for that's that's the point. For me, religion just keep people apart. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no. When religion done wrong, it keeps people apart. When religion, when Islam done properly, it unites people. I'll give you an example. For example, why is there so many different religions? Yeah, why is so? It's because people, people want power. People want... It's wrong. Huh? Which is wrong. It's wrong, it's wrong. We can't change the scripture. Does that make sense? That's why Allah, like you know, when you read the Bible, yeah? Man-made elements have gone into it. When you read the Bhagavad Gita, it's like, they don't even have, they don't even know who revealed it, when it was revealed, so on and so forth. So there's no accountability. And this goes with all the scripture, excluding the Quran. Now, the Quran, the law is there, per perfectly preserved, like I said to you before. Yeah? So now, all you have to do is like, look, go back to the scripture. Now you'll be like, oh, I interpret it like this. Who cares how you interpret it? Who cares how I interpret it? Uh, we have a scholarship, so it's like, oh, this book was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. How did he understand it? How did the people who explained it to the companions understand it? So then we've outrooted um, multiple religions because we got the source material. So then um, people with bad intentions or people of authority can't misuse it. Because what ends up happening is the Islamic belief is God sent one religion to Adam, all the way from and Adam, the man yeah. divided, looking after the control. Exactly, the for power, power, for control, yeah. thank you. Divided it, changed it. Then God sent another prophet. Then over time it got changed and corrupt. God sent another prophet. Over time it got changed and corrupt. God sent Moses. Over time it got changed and corrupt. God sent Jesus, messenger, not God, messenger sent by God. Um, and then over time it got changed and it got corrupted. Then Allah sent the final messenger, the Prophet Muhammad. But haven't came yet. He's already come. 1400 years ago. And the Quran was revealed to him. So, oh no, sorry, the, the Jewish is the one that is waiting for the chosen one, right? Who, sorry? The Jewish. The Jewish people. Oh, They're yes, still yes, waiting yes. for them. Uh, like from the chosen one. Like, the chosen one. Uh, so, with us, we believe in Moses. Yeah. But again, the Jews, from the Islamic narrative, we believe due to their kind of arrogance and them changing their scripture, they rejected the final messenger, the chosen one, the Prophet Muhammad. So, we believe that the chosen one has arrived, but the Jews just aren't willing to accept it. Yeah. So, like I said, we, we in the Quran, the Christians and the Jews, they refer to uh, as people of the book, the closest to the Muslims. Yeah, because everything was the same. The Similar. No, the same. No, 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 you're right. You're, no, 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 you're right. It was the same, and then over time it changed. So now it's similar. At the beginning, like you said, it was the same. Because the thing is, right now you're saying, why is there so much division in so many religions? All people innately, naturally believe in one God.
but that's only creates... So let me finish, let me finish that point, yeah. sorry, sorry. Um, naturally believe in one God, yeah? Now you're thinking you're someone who doesn't believe in God, yeah? Like I would say that... I mean, let me just... It's not that I don't believe in God. They don't believe in the picture that they want to sell us. What's the so picture? For example, you don't... God, Jesus. blonde hair, blue eyes. I don't believe that. I don't buy that. I agree I with don't, you. I don't think from from um from the area that he's supposed I to come. I agree. I agree. Be what the American want to? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, what the, what the white you. man wants the man to be? Blonde hair, blue eyes. In that area, you don't get people with blonde hair, blue eyes. Does it make sense? The complexion is too light. Yeah. Does it make sense? In Islam, we don't we don't um, the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Peace be upon him, he said, in his final sermon, you can Google it, the final sermon, he said, no white man is better than a black man. No Arab is better than a non-Arab. He's giving women's rights. He said, the only thing that differentiates you is God consciousness. God consciousness is, can't be seen, it's in your heart. Does that make sense? Like you see me, oh look, he's wearing loose clothes, he's got a beard, he must be religious. You don't know. Only God knows, because God knows what's in my heart. That's so the way we can dif differentiate people, I can't judge you. Does that make sense? I can judge on what's apparent. For example, I'm going to be honest with you, that with your belief, you're not going to enter heaven. Who says so? The Quran says so. Because you don't have a belief. Because but, Allah but, but, says. But that's the thing. If God knows the people from inside, he should know that even if I'm not following his message because the man in the air make a corrupter, he knows who I am from inside. And he knows my energy that I have from inside. So as long as I keep that good energy and not bring in on up, giving bad energy to other people to, um, you know, I respect so all level of this society is, people. This is your criteria. Yeah, of course. Now, I follow. God, yeah, 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 definitely. God knows, yeah, Allah knows that, look, you're in a difficult situation. You don't have the Quran. You, no one has given you the message. But that's not true. I'm giving you the message. Does that make sense? So now, what's stopping you from taking the message? Arrogance. You don't want to believe. No, the truth has come to you. Now, if you said to me, okay, I disagree with this, I disagree with what you've said, I disagree with this, and I try and I fail to, everything I've said to you, you've agreed. All that's remaining is, here, I take the Quran. You should say, look, I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to read half a page a day. Read half a page a day. Read one page a week. Make, do something. Does it make sense? Yeah, I do. I do. Look I... at what you're wearing. How much time did you spend just to buy what you're wearing? <laughs> it took effort. Of... See, I know. A lot of time. Going a lot of time and effort. Yeah. For this particular outfit. But you don't have time for one page of the Quran a day? <laughs> Read because, it. No, because not that it's so, not so let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. Read it and say, I disagree with it, then stop reading it. That's fine, but you haven't even opened it. No, because I'm not disagree. Like I said, it's not disagreement with the book itself. It's but you don't agree though, then agree with it. Because... But you haven't read it. Because I see what's going on. What's going on? Tell me. It's, it's, it's evil, it's evil. What's everything, going on? Tell me. People dying, people killing themselves. That's, this, this no, we're not living what we're supposed to be living. Okay. Um, the problem you... So you ask me the question, then you help me and then you answer the question. The problem is we're not living the way we're meant to. Right now, the Quran, yeah? It gives you a complete way of life, yeah? Implement the Quran into your life. If the law of the land implements the Quran, you won't have no poor people. You won't, rape will reduce. R where, rape where, will go where, zero. Where? Rape where? will it's, go zero. Huh? Yeah, but it's 2023 and it looks like we're going Back in time, the, 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 no, no. the humanity Shadi, that's seen... That's because seen. we're becoming less religious. We're leaving scripture. Now, 1400 years ago, the Prophet Muhammad, yeah? Look at what he was able to do in his lifetime, yeah? Um, 
a generation in the time of Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, right? They eradicated poverty. Within a hundred years of his life, after he passed away, there was no more poor people because we implemented the third pillar of Islam, zakat. Yeah, I'm going to go into that a bit later. So there's no more poor people. So the fact of the matter is, people are being evil because they're being you. They're like, I'm going to decide what is wrong and what is right. Today I'm going to go out Friday night. I'm going to meet up with these different women. Does that make sense? She's going to get pregnant. It doesn't matter. It's not my problem. Prove it. I'm going to... I don't know you. We didn't exchange details. I don't, I don't move like that. Me. Are you sure? Family. The camera is watching you. Yeah, the camera is watching me. He, doesn't, he doesn't do that. No yeah, Friday night. No. Yeah? No, listen, but I go, that's I go more you. Than, I go more than one or two years. I don't go out. Nice. But that's you though. No, that's, there's somebody that's what else. Says, there's somebody family. else who's try, exactly I like try, you. I try to do what I believe to be in peace with myself and without following any religion, I try to follow the God's rules. But there are other because men who are impregnating women, who are breaking true, homes. That's They're breaking saying, homes. Yes, yes. The statistics are there. When you come from a broken no, home, no it's mom, it's just happened. mom, um, the crime rate goes up. People Family going into prison, up. broken families, yeah. more people. If you look at the amount of people in prison, they're from broken homes. Why? Because they're living godlessness. They're thinking, oh, I'm just going to, I know what's right. I'm going to follow my desires. But they didn't. They followed the desire and look at what they've done to the world now. I'm saying, come back to the perfect scripture revealed by God. Give it, open it, read it. If you disagree with it, leave it. I'm saying, look at my confidence. The fact of the matter is, you need an open heart, open mind. The society is telling you what's wrong and right. Yeah? Don't go in with that. Just think, look, does this make sense? If, if there was, alcohol was banned, would the world be better or worse a place? I wish to happen today. There you go, Islam I teaches this. For the I don't I drink alcohol, I don't know. Once. Only on occasions. Day. Yeah. So now, who but you you have this opinion, but people are not following this opinion. This is the law of God for us not to drink alcohol. There will be no more liver problems. You know the most amount of people going to A and D, accident and emergency, hospital, admissions. Is it alcohol related? Yeah. Domestic violence, alcohol related, car accidents, alcohol related. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah. I'm saying yeah. to you, look at the wisdom of Allah. You're telling me all of these problems. Yeah, that's one element. Now, you know, there are some things which are within our control. I'm saying go back to religion. There are some things which are outside of our control. Test from Allah. For example, someone in your family dies. Someone in my family dies. It's hard. It's very hard, but then I know Allah has the picture, I have the pixel. Through what my limited understanding, yeah, I can make a child, but I need a woman's help. This is my capacity, yeah, maybe by the permission of Allah. Allah created the universe and I'm thinking, oh, I'm using my intellect to judge God. No, I came I... from a dirty water, semen. I'm going to say, oh, why are these bad things happening? What do I know about good and bad? Does that make sense? Many times in your life, in my life, bad things have happened. Ten years later, five years later, I'm like, alhamdulillah, this was good. Six months later, I'm glad. I'm like, if I didn't have that car accident, then I would have lost this opportunity. That wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have met my wife because I'm walking, waiting for a bus and we met, wherever the story may be. You know what I mean? And I think to myself, but when the car accident happened and I had to pay to get repaired, to me it's very bad. Does it make sense? Allah knows what's good for you. Allah knows what's bad for you. Allah knows what didn't happen. That thing, everything that's gonna happen. That thing that didn't happen, if it did happen, what would have happened? So you see, that's, but that's, that's the thing, for example, you're telling me about Allah, right? Yes. So, if a Christian 
stop me there. He gonna talk me about Jesus. Yes. Right. Who ain't gonna believe? Okay. Thank you. Now. Our evidence, not evidence, our reasoning, the strong reasoning we have is the understanding of God. We call it Tawheed. Yeah? God is uniquely one. Yeah? Now, G Christians say, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. That's like three gods, bro. What's going on? The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. No, 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 no. They're not three gods, but they're one God. No. In Islam, we say there's one God. Pardon? No, I was uh, selling the same thing. I speak Spanish, so I remember yeah. when they used to so say the, the name Father, name. the Son, the Holy Spirit uh, yeah, is not free, yeah. but it is one. <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying no. In Islam, um, oneness of God, oneness, uniqueness in the names and attributes. God is all knowing. Jesus Christ was not all knowing. God is all powerful. Jesus Christ was not all powerful. So how can you worship Jesus Christ? So why this they selling it like a he is the real God? That's not, I, I I get you. Because this is man-made. This is man-made. Because what happens? I'll tell you why. You know people love Jesus. Yeah. People who follow. No no no. Yeah. Everyone who follows him, I love Jesus. I don't love. But what happened well, was okay. You maybe you don't. Because yeah, Christian. I okay. Don't, I mean, I feel, to okay. be honest, I, no, no, I that's feel fine. free and I completely. You. Full you don't myself. know Jesus. You don't know Jesus. You don't love him. That's fine. Yeah. I love him as a messenger of God. Christians love him. Yeah, because then on the day he's bringing a message no, in no, the name no, of no, God. It doesn't matter no. if it's Allah or... No, it matters because now, because they loved him so much, they took him and raised him to the level of God. Out of my love for him, I follow him. And he made a differentiation between him and God. Even in their own scripture, he said, um, what do you say? For eternal life in John um, 17, 3. For eternal life that they may know the only true God and Jesus Christ who thou hast sent. So Jesus Christ is saying there's only God, the only true God. So why do they do this? Because they've distorted the truth. They've changed the truth because it's like, oh, I love Jesus so much. Jesus is God. But Jesus never said he's God. He's never, yeah, yeah. In the entire Bible, yeah. he never said I'm God. He never said worship me. So I'm saying to you, that is one of the reasons. I'm saying, look, we, we worship God alone in His Lordship. God deserves, Allah deserves to be worshipped. Right now, are you working? Coming from. Coming yeah. from work, yeah? yeah? This is not your job, yeah? No. Standing <laughs> here, don't get to it. You're coming from work, yeah? Do you decide what time you go to work? Uh, Within limits, there's a little bit of freedom. That's uh, yeah, you got you got a gap of freedom, yeah. Okay, time you get a yeah, little yeah, bit of freedom, yeah. time, but you don't decide the days. You have to go into work. No, no, because that's There's a certain amount of work you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. I see this as subs you're, you're serving your employer. You're subservient to your employer. You're worshiping but money. Then, uh, look at look wait, wait, wait. look at you giving up your freedom. You're giving up your freedom for money. But You're restricting your life for money. Yes, but who does The sun comes out. You want to be in the park with your family. I wish to be every day. But you're but restricting your life. Why? For money. You're worshipping money. But so, so what come, I mean, uh, so that's the thing. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's the thing they, 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 the man I've create, come, create this. I've come to free you from the slavery of money, slavery, the chains, the shackles of money yeah, from to money worshiping God. Time, I don't want to get paid, I don't want to... Worship, turn to God, come to God. Does that make sense? Rather that's, than that's you a, a, following the God, timetable he, he that your boss gives you. Bills. Huh? He's not going to pay my bills. That's okay. why, I mean, okay. look, at how many, look at how many slaves are okay. no, 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 no. walking around Right here. now, right now, your job. Can you do your job without your eyes? No, no, I can't. Who gave you these eyes? The creation. So what I do is that Who? The creation. The creation? Yeah. Or the creator? Well, it's uh, a. <laughs> because the, the you, creator. Yeah, the creator. The Are you creator. sure? Because the creation can't do anything. It doesn't have intellect. 
It doesn't have power. But we don't know the creation what's is dependent. But yeah. we don't know what's behind. We don't behind I mean, what? Of the creation. We don't know who yes, is the creator. creator. <laughs> um, that's that's what I'm telling you. Behind but the creation yeah. is the creator. But we don't know. Uh, you know, perfect book, perfectly preserved, no mistakes in it. Read it. That's how you know. Show me one mistake in it, and then halas, you can leave it. No, there's I was reading an article today. I was reading an article today, yeah? I don't want to misquote it. Someone was paid two million dollars, or dollars or thing. It's, it's on my phone now, to find mistakes in the Quran. The society, they were spending money, the effort, to try and disprove, to take people away from religion. My man felt. He's not cashing in that check. The Quran sets you the challenge. Find, a mis find something like it, create something like it. The shortest chapter in the Quran is three verses. And no one can meet the challenge. The Quran makes prophecies. It said that Abu Labak will um, die a disbeliever. Yeah? One of the major players in the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah? You know, All he had to do to disprove the Qur'an is become a Muslim. But Allah prophesies that he's going to die a disbeliever, he's going to be in hellfire, and his wife is going to be a disbeliever. It's proven correct. All he had to do, the enemy of Islam, is say that now, I've become Muslim for one or two days. One week. He can act like a Muslim for one week. He will have disproved the Quran? No. no. But the Quran makes these prophecies. Guess it right. Quran says, look, you're going to die. I'm going to die. Ooh, everyone's going to die down and we're going to become dust. Our bones are going to turn to dust. And Allah is going to bring us back to life down to the tips of our fingers. This was mentioned 1400 years ago. 1400 years ago, they read in the Quran. They're like, oh, down to the tips of your fingers. Okay. Now we know that every single human being's fingerprint is different. Yeah. No, How did the Quran know this? 1400 years ago. Well, probably. My sister, maybe, um, my sister, she was telling me, she went to school. She's quite many years older than me, right? I'm the youngest in my family. Me too, me too. Oh, is it? I'm six. Is it? Yeah, of seven. seven. I'm yeah, the youngest yeah, of seven. Younger, so my sister was telling me, when she went to school, she was told the moon had light. No, it doesn't have light. 1400 years ago, it said the moon doesn't have light. Doesn't it's have reflected light, light from the sun. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. So science, schooling gets it wrong. Yeah. This is, we only found this out recently. Can you imagine? 1400 years ago. They the, already knew. Yeah. We were talking about, oh, is the world flat? 1400 years ago. The Bible says the world is flat, by the way. 1400 years ago, the Quran says the world is geospherical. Sorry, why am I using that? The Quran says it's like an ostrich egg, which is geospherical, which means it's not perfectly it's circle. Not perfect circle. Yeah, like a pill, like. You're a smart yeah, guy. Yeah. I have to Google what geospherical is. I don't even know what geospherical <laughs> is. But you already know this, uh, yeah? So that's uh, somebody's waiting for me. I will have to leave. No, you go. I'm going to let you go. Have I said enough to entice you to reading? A f I'm going to give you a free copy of the Quran. Right. Yes? And my dear brother there behind the camera, he's telling me, tell him Surah Ikhlas, Surah Ikhlas. Yeah? So let me bring the Quran and I'm going to go through Surah Ikhlas. My beautiful assistant you know, is going to bring a Quran. I have many friends from Morocco, yeah. for example, because I was living in Spain before, yeah. for a long time. What country are you originally Dominican from? Dominican Republic. Okay. What did you think of the Moroccans? Um, I hear good things, I hear bad things. Yeah. Some, the good oh, ones are very oh, good. And yeah, the bad ones are drinking they, alcohol and they're smoking. And, yeah, some of them, they, um, they abandon, they religion, some of them, they are... They Following the desires. They, you know, and they, are, they decide not to follow anymore, you know, and their life, they had mm. 
back in Morocco. It's, and, it's, uh, it's ignorance, because what happens then, is... Uh, many of them, I mean, when I speak with them about Quran, about things, one thing I can say is that the Quran is some... Uh, for, from, from what I know, it's the most complete one, because, for example, the Bible, they change to the new... Um, the new birds, and they took, for example, uh, the book of Enoch. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, they took a lot of things. They've dis but, disappeared, yeah. So yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's not right, because if that was from the beginning, you should keep it as a one book. Yes, yes, you know? yes, yes. So yes, I don't yes, know yes. why they took that one out of the Bible to, um, to make like a new, the new book from the new generation, you yeah. know? So that's, um, that's making more up to go and follow what they want but like I said from general concept of religion all that I know that Quran is one of the most complete again some um, together with the Torah which is the Jewish book the yeah. Torah I think is the name I think, uh, but even if you go through the Torah they say the first five chapters was written by Moses and when you read through you see blatantly it wasn't written about him because it talks about where he was buried. So, you see. Like, how are you going to talk about where he was buried and then act like it was written by thing? But you're in a rush, I'm going to respect your time. I just want to read four verses from you for you, yeah? This is chapter 112, Surah Ikhlas, right? And it says, Say, Allah is uniquely one, yeah? The self sustaining eternal. I'm giving my own translation, yeah? Because I'm used to that. This is a different English, yeah? Um, he doesn't have offspring, nor was he born. And there's nothing comparable to him. This is our four-line definition of God. Okay, so give me an advice. How can I interpret it to give it the right interpretation? No, no, no. This interpretation is correct. Yeah. Because no, no, right no, now, no, what I'm giving you... interpretation of the translation, if not personal... The thing is, right now, when I give this to you, I'm not giving you the Quran. Do you know what I'm giving you? What are you giving me? Translation of the Quran. This is someone who's tried their best to translate from Arabic to English. Yeah, no, no, you no, no, want no. to connect with the Quran? Come, we'll go, we'll learn Arabic together. Oh. Yeah? We'll learn it too. I need to learn as well. No, it, uh, it cost me to learn English, so I don't want to no, imagine. This, is, this will mean. benefit you more. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much, sir. Thank but you. did I answer your question? Sorry. Um, you want to know about translation. This is good. You can check it out as well further. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Any further questions before you go? No. I feel like giving you, you my number. So if you got any questions, then yeah, keep in touch.